Well, I'm making an upside down uh, tomato thing for hanging tomatoes upside down. It'll keep the tomatoes off the ground and it'll keep them away from slugs and snails and things. And they'll be easy to look after and I can move the little hanging basket around. What I've done is I've, using secateurs here, I've cut out a plastic bottle. I've taken the lid off of course and I've cut, it, cut the bottom off the bottle. And I did that with secateurs, garden secateurs. And I drilled some holes. I don't know if I'll need all four holes. But I drilled some holes just with a, with a drill. You could use a gimlet or anything. And I made, using just wire cutters and some coat hangers, I've made a little thing for suspending it from. Oops, it's starting to rain. Just when I've started filming. And I'm going to hang my tomato in that upside down. That's what I'm going to do. I've got potting mix here. And I've got my little tomato seedling, and it'll be suspended upside down. I'll show you in a minute once I've put the soil in. I'm getting wet now, aren't I? But that's the principle. It's going to be hanging upside down, and uh, the tomatoes are all going to be easy for me to pick, and I can even bring it indoors for the winter time if I want to. And it's my little upside down tomato planter. And we'll see how it goes. Some people paint the outside keep the light away from the roots but I'll just see how this goes to start with. I'll just see how it goes. I'll put it all together now if I don't get washed out. Here I am filming in the rain. I've got my water, my little seat to sit on, I've got my soil and I've got my little hanging basket already. The first step now is to invert the, uh, the container and push the tomato plant through the hole and then I'll fill it with soil. So wish me luck, I won't film it because it'll be all one-handed and sloppy. I'll come back in a minute. Well there's the plant upside down. I pushed it through the hole and surprisingly no leaves came off at all. They just folded up like an umbrella when they were pushed through which was pretty neat and convenient for me. And I was glad that it didn't have any leaf damage. I teased the roots out a little bit. So it's in the pot now with the roots teased out a little bit and all ready to be filled with soil and, and then watered and then hung up in a location that I deem to be the right place. And I can move it around and let it follow the sun or anything. And the uh, tomatoes, the Roma tomatoes, will be hanging upside down and they'll be all luscious and ready for us to pick. That should be nice. I'll just fill it up with soil now and water it nicely. And as I said, I could mask the outsides of the container to keep the sun off the roots if I decide that that is a good idea. But since I think I'll keep it on the veranda, it'll probably just um, have a lot of uh, indirect light, which will be enough for it to grow, but not enough to burn it. So we'll see anyway. Here I am, filling the container now with rich black potting mix. Lovely rich black potting mix and all I have to do is water it and locate it where I want now and it's going to do very well and I'm going to have beautiful tomatoes Roma tomatoes they are and it's going to do very well and it's going to be very happy this plant it is and I'll show you the results once they are beautiful tomatoes it's going to do really well isn't it great and aren't I butch and capable for making all this on my own We'll do it yourself. Aren't I capable? Aren't I capable in butch and everything? Well, I've just put six litres of potting mix, rich potting mix, in what is a five litre bottle, supposedly. Funny that. Anyway, I'm watering it in now. And the root ball of the plant, well, the root ball of the plant seems to be all fibrous so that will stop the water from um, you, you know washing everything out through the, the mouth of the bottle so it's all watered and ready to go now and it's going to do very well there it's all watered and ready to go now I can hang it wherever I like I will 
So only a little bit of water coming out the mouth of the bottle. It's not washing all the soil away. And this plant is going to do very well. Look at it. It didn't know it was going to spend its life upside down, but it's going to be upside down for a while. I'll show you the ripe tomatoes in a few weeks' time. Yes, it's so portable, isn't it? It's so portable. You can move it any way you like to get the best sun or best shade as the temperature of the day and the light of the day is required. I can put it in the shade when it needs a bit of shade and I can put it in the sun when it needs sun. So portable and useful. And this is what we can look forward to growing. These are from the shop. These are Roma tomatoes grown on a, on a truss or whatever it's called. That, that branch is called a truss, I think. But or, Yes, that's what I hope to be growing. But I hope I'm successful. If you try this too, good luck with it. Let's hope I have good luck and grow beautiful, delicious tomatoes upside down.